asked question. Question number one. How did the effects of Bozo match and rivalry of the warlords work? Okay, to answer the question, let's first explain their effects. Gozen match first. Its effect. Eight, each player can only control one attribute of one monster. Send all other face up monsters to the graveyard. So let's say your opponent activates this continuous trap on your turn. You normal summon a dark monster and afterwards special summon a light monster. So what happens? Well, you the player decide which attribute monster you keep. The other will get sent to the grave due to Gozen Match's effect. Next card, Rivalry of the Warlords. Its effect. Each player can only control one type of monster. Send all of the face-up monsters they control to the graveyard. So let's say your opponent activates this continuous trap on your turn. You normal summon a dragon, then after special summon a warrior. Well, you the player get the choice. You decide which type to keep. Is it the dragon or the warrior? You can't keep both, due to the effect of rivalry of the warlord. After you have made their choice, the other gets sent to the graveyard. Question number two. What is a hand trap? Okay. A hand trap is a card that can activate during any time and in any phase. Usually all cards in Yu-Gi-Oh can only be activated either on your turn or opponent's turn. Our first hand trap in the game came from the Strike Neos box. Its release was February 28, 2007. This hand trap is DDD Pro. It wasn't really used at the time and didn't really see play. It was only three years later with the release of Effect Veiler in the Duelist Revolution box. Its release was August 17, 2010. This marked the first introduction to hand traps to our competitive play. Since then, they have been released with a series of effects, but they all share some common traits. Let me list them. 1. Their effects always target the opponent. 100% guaranteed. 2. They deny the opponent a form of card advantage. 3. They are extremely difficult to respond to, and since their inception could only be negated by Solemn Strike, this changed in 2017 when they got the recall counter trap. But the following year, with the release of Pulled by the Grave, a quick play spell, hand traps can be dealt with effectively if players have this card in their decks and hand when facing a hand trap. 4. When their effects resolve, most of the time result in the player suffering the effect ending their turn immediately. Exceptions do apply in some cases, but studies and history has shown the oppressive nature of hand traps. Question number three. What is link climbing? Let me answer this question. Link climbing is link summoning consecutively. Summoning link monsters each monster being a higher link than the one before it. Let me give you an example of link climbing. Okay, so now let me show you link climbing. Here we go. As you can see there, we have a link to monster. Let's uh, zoom into it. Yeah, restoration point guard. Let's zoom back out. And so we're going to start the link climb. First, we'll go into Transcode Talker, which is a Link 3. Let's uh, zoom into it. Okay, zoom back out. And then we will go further, like so, to a Link 4. And now we have our Link 4 Firewall Dragon. Let's zoom into it. And there you can see Firewall Dragon. Let's zoom back out. And so that is link climbing. We went from Restoration Point Guard to Transcode Talker and then into Firewall Dragon. That is all. Question number four. What are floodgates? Let me answer that. Floodgates are cards in Yu-Gi-Oh that prevent your opponent gaining a form of card advantage 
Sometimes they can also lock out a certain game mechanics, which has gotten some banned from the game. Question number five. What does mill mean? Let me answer that. Mill in Yu-Gi-Oh means sending cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard. You are now one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe. Hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.